Um, how are you feeling after all your exercises? Are you feeling good? Okay. Yes. So I'm going to be reading to you a few more handouts, just some informational um, handouts. We're going to be talking about falls and fractures today. Um, I'm going to give you another list of resources. So first I'm going to be reading to you handout 4.0, um, which is an assertiveness and fall prevention age page, age page, preventing falls and fractures. Um, so a simple thing can change your life, like tripping on a rug or slipping on a wet floor. If you fall, you could break a bone like thousands of older men and women do each year. A broken bone might not sound awful, but for older people, a break can be the start of, a more, of more serious problems. Many things can cause a fall. Your eyesight, hearing, and reflexes might not be as sharp as they were when you were younger. Diabetes, heart disease, or problems with your thyroid. Nerves, feet, or blood vessels can affect your balance. Some medicines can cause you to feel dizzy or sleepy, making you more likely to fall. You don't think your thyroid med gives you dizziness, do you? Mm -hmm. I've been on it for 16 years. Okay. Uh, but don't let a fear of falling keep you from being active, doing things like getting together with friends, gardening, walking, or going to the local senior center helps you stay healthy. The good news is that there are simple ways you can prevent most falls. Take the right steps. If you take care of your overall health, you may be able to lower your chance of falling. Most of the time, falls and accidents don't just happen. Here are a few hints that will help you avoid falls and broken bones. So the first one is stay physically active. Plan an exercise program that is right for you. Regular exercise improves muscles and makes you stronger. It also helps keep your joints, tendons, and ligaments flexible. Mild weight-bearing activities such as walking or climbing stairs may slow bone loss from osteoporosis. So obviously, once we finish up with our eight sessions, if you want to continue to incorporate this program into your daily life just to remain physically active, that would be a good idea. Um, have your eyes and hearing tested. Even small changes in sight and hearing may cause you to fall. When you get new eyeglasses, take time to get used to them. Always wear your glasses when you need them. If you have a hearing aid, be sure it fits well and wear it. Find out about the side effects of any medicine you take. If a drug makes you sleepy or dizzy, tell your doctor or, for, or for a pharmacist. <laughs> I'm combining or and pharmacist. Get enough sleep. If you are sleepy, sleepy, you are more likely to fall. Limit the amount of alcohol you drink. Even a small amount of alcohol can affect your balance and reflexes. I don't think that's going to be a problem for you. <laughs> um, stand up slowly. Getting up too quickly can cause your blood pressure to drop. That can make you feel wobbly. Use a walking stick if you need help feeling steady when you walk. If your doctor tells you to use a cane or walker, make sure it is the right size for you and the wheels roll smoothly. This is very important when you're walking in areas you don't know well or in places where the walkways are uneven. Be very careful when walking on wet or icy surfaces. They can be very slippery. Try to have sand or salt spread on icy areas by your front or back door. Wear non-skid, rubber-soled, low-heeled shoes or lace-up shoes with non-skid soles that fully support your feet. It is important that the soles are not too thin or too thick. Don't walk around on stairs or floors in socks or in shoes and slippers with smooth soles. Always tell your doctor if you have fallen since your last checkup, even if you aren't hurt when you fall. Mm 